Hello, my name is Matthew Mavers, and today we're at Kids Quick's workshop where we're going to have a look at brake tanks on dishwashers. For this demonstration, we're going to be looking at the deluxe model, the CK1543. The brake tank needs to be uh, RAS approved, so you either have to have it approved by RAS or there's another governing body, uh, Kiwa that it's uh, approved by, so one of the two that it needs to, the brake tank needs to be approved and the manufacturers do this um, and they need, to, they need to come through one of those certificates. Our machine is manufactured by Electrolux, so uh, we've got a certificate here which shows it's a RAS approved brake tank. What is a brake tank? Well a brake tank is um, a device that stops the contaminated water that's in the machine, the dirty water that's from your pots, um, getting into the water, your own private water supply. And we're going to just have a look at the back of the machine and we're going to go through this to show you what um, the device is all about. So we're going to turn the machine around. Um, we've the front panels missing from the machine, so we can take a look in the front. We're going to turn it around and have a look at the brake tank at the back. So we can see the brake tank at the back, which is this little plastic box here. All right. The water inlet comes in and comes through the top of the into the top of the box. All right. This is this is connected to the rinse tank, and basically the brake tank is is the water that's inside the tank should never be able to bridge the gap between where it fills and where the water lives in the machine. So this having a little hole in it means that it will never be able to um, jump the gap and, and contaminate your supply. So we can see the brake tank working here and it's actually filling up. We can see the water going in the top and the water level filling uh, inside the machine. Okay, the reason why this is so expensive, um, the price difference between one without and one with, is not necessarily the plastic uh, tank itself. It's because we have to put a, another pump in to uh, put the pressure, add the pressure back into the machine. Alright, so that's why the, the price difference is normally about three or four hundred pound more for one with a brake tank. You must have a brake tank these days, um, you need to uh, bear that in mind. Thank you for listening. I hope that explains brake tanks. Thank you for subscribing and we'd love to hear your comments and if you like it, give us a tick.